How's it going, everybody? You're watching the Boba Squadron. Tonight, we are talking about The Bad Batch, Season 3, Episodes 4 and 5. Some crazy Chilean beer Star Wars commercials. And of course, the hot toys, Shin, Hati, the baddie, and Balin Skull. So stay tuned. We're a little uh, shorthanded tonight, but that means we are not, that doesn't mean we're not capable. Nailed it. So sit back, enjoy the show, leave a thumbs up if you can, and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Paul. Hey, Ernie. Hey, Yoko. Hello there. It's Obi Wan Kenobi. This is Ashley Eckstein, voice of Ahsoka Tano. And you're tuned in to Boba Squadron. And I can't wait to hear what you have to say on Boba Squadron. This is the podcast you're looking for. Aha, Ernie didn't warn you. We're starting right into it. Yeah, thanks. Hey, did you uh did you record that thing yet that I need you to record? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I see you made a, a video for Yoko, uh, but you know. For for the squadron where where you're just a prospect on you know, um, nothing. Bro, you gotta wrote, tell me a hundred times. I'm not your I wife. Think she told me, and I totally forgot. I'm not uh, your wife. I'll get it to you this week. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. Hey, welcome back. Uh, for everyone who's tuning in for the first time, uh, the Boba Squadron. We like to do episode uh, episodic breakdowns of some Star Wars, um, TV shows and other content of course we're also toy collectors so we'll be bringing up some of the um really really cool new pre-orders reveals and uh and other toys uh, maybe in our collection also some other weird stuff in media but hey we we missed last week and um it, it kind of sucks but it's good to be back because tonight we're talking about two episodes of the bad batch on top of that uh of the very generous Wing or lose, hit me up. He's like, "Hey, I had I had some time. You want some screenshots?" I'm like, "Hell yeah!" Not that <laughs> For I real? Was, not that I wasn't going to be on the toilet anyway. Uh, but you know, it it saves me some time, and I can get more done for other stuff there. So thank you, Wing or Lose. So we're going to talk about some Star Wars media stuff, some collectibles, and of course, episodes four and five of Bad Batch season three. Uh, we're going to get into. And catch up with Ernie a little bit. Yoko is still away on vacation, and Paul is unavailable tonight. But you are here. Thank you. Appreciate you. And I want to say what's up to everyone in the chat. We have first here Kat Chin. She heard there were screenshots, and uh, she's been in here since like 4 p.m. <laughs> I'm 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 joking, but it's also highly plausible. Good right. to see you. It's still true. Uh, we have Sam Rock, Mark Rose, John Takis, Bitter Troll. What's up? Of course, channel member and ultra helpful winger lose. Uh, John Takis is here. Another channel member, Ryan Dole. What's up, my friend? Says hot toys are so hot right now. Go watch um, Toy Anxiety tomorrow night with Ryan Dole. Uh, let's see. Bloody Sunday. What's going on? Uh, Tommy K, how's it going? Good to see you. And. John Takis, Super Figures, what's up? New name in the chat, uh, Bad Wolf Media. Thank you for being here, channel member. I'm TJ Williams, channel member. Matt Logic, uh, Jay Evans, what's up? Peak Obi-Wan. I want to get to our, our random guest uh, right now. Uh, please welcome to the show uh, a a good a good morning. Uh, ohio, ohio gozaimashita. <laughs> Other way. Oh, this is good. This is good. You're at the Disney store. Yeah, in the rain. I forgot to bring my uh, earpods. That's I okay. Is that the, the is that the Disney store in Shibuya? Yeah. Oh man. I have like an hour to kill before I have to leave my hotel. You will you will kill an hour in there. Yeah. Kill yeah. away. I went I went once when it first got here, so I'm like, oh, I'll make one more trip. Is it as cool as Instagram makes it look? That like um all the different levels and the details <laughs> in the store and stuff. Oops. What did I hit? I can't see the chat. Sorry, Chad, I can't see you. Um, you know, don't worry about it. I think the, the decor is, it is, it's really cool. Like, that outside is the floor. Yeah, absolutely. There we go. Yeah, we don't need to see me. Yeah. There also, Ernie, can't it. you say hi to Yoko? Hi, Yoko. <laughs> hi, Ernie, miss you. I'm going to go next time. Yeah. Japan, Japan. I know. I'm going to go to Japan, Japan next time. I really screwed that up. 
Yeah. yeah he He's going to type it in. It's like, oh, it must be like New York, New York. Yeah. <laughs> Japan, Japan. Uh, I was different. Yeah, a little different. Um, is that, anyway. Is I that your I Japanese name? Yeah. Yo, go. Yeah. Whoa, so it's, cool. Do you have anything to report here, on? I'm in Japan, Japan. Do I have anything to report? You know, I'm actually like, I didn't see a lot of Star Wars stuff here, which is kind of a bummer. Um, other than like, Bear Bricks, but not the Ahsoka one that I wanted. Um, there was that they just which apparently was really cheap and I could have bought her any time. Um, but other than that, I didn't really see much. Oh, uh, there is the one photo you sent me of Star Wars stuff. I'll try to load it for later. I know. I wish I had bought that. It was cheap, but it was just kind of big, you know? That's why I didn't get it. Mm. But, um... Are you going to go shop now? Had you ever seen that before? I have not. I have not. Of all the things to commemorate that ish, uh, that event, I've never seen that before. I'll wait till you bring it up and then I'll go inside it. It's just going to be a little harder. Okay. Uh, some Star Wars toy news courtesy of... Uh, the reporter on the street, Yoko McCann. Uh, where where did you see this? So there's this area called Nakano Broadway, and it's like a, a mall that's full of uh, mostly vintage toy stores, and there's some newer stuff too. Um, and uh, yeah, this was the one thing that kind of caught my eye. <laughs> that was super limited. You found Hong Kong edition. Yeah, I should have taken a picture of the back because the back right. said something right. about like commemorating Hong Kong's return to China. Hong Kong uh, was a British yeah. British colony until, and it returned to China in 1997 to commemorate yeah. this uh, momentous events. Star Wars fun released. Fact. I lived in Hong Kong at that time. You, did you? That yeah. is a fun fact. Yeah. Um, yeah. To commemorate this, there's a limited edition, Hong Kong edition of Boba Fett, Darth Vader, and a stormtrooper. <laughs> it says 97 Hong Kong edition. What better way? To uh, celebrate the return, then uh, I used to have that. You had that? Mm -hmm. You did? <laughs> yes, I did. Where I did you get it. it? I traded it and then I retraded it for something else. Yeah, there was lots of shows and stuff back in the day where people, you know, I had a lot of stuff. So I had traded quite a few things, but they were all extra for it because I had to have the Boba Fett. I see Matt Logic is saying too, he to remembers have the it. Boba Fett. Come it was on, a good what's one. Up, Matt Logic? Yeah. Bad Wolf says, is this the first time we've had the squad from three different countries? Yeah. Yes. I think so. Yeah, that's it's either awesome. US and Canada, right? I'm gonna it's starting to rain harder, so I'm gonna go inside. If I go closer to the Disney store, you'll get uh flagged because we're using Oh yeah. Probably. Thank you, Yoko. <laughs> have fun. Bye Yoko, miss you. Thanks Thanks for you jumping in. Be safe. Back. We'll be back tomorrow. Wait, tomorrow? No, Wednesday for Fallen Fet Chronicles. All right. Sounds good. She either said sayonara or signing off. I, yeah, and I wasn't going to say it, so I'm glad you did. So, yeah. I, do, I wanted uh, to help you out there. Yeah, and I was like, uh, uh, bye, Yoko. <laughs> it's like, what did yeah. she say? Um, yeah, signing off. Yeah, <laughs> signing off, I think it was. All right. Uh, continuing the shout outs, uh, we had Doombot9000. That logic forty four, uh, I think that was it. Stream elements caught up with everyone. Hey, that was super yeah, cool. Nice stream elements. Yeah, that was super awesome. Nice. Um, well, welcome back to you. Also, um, thanks. Where, where, let the people know where did you go? Well, I didn't go to Japan, Japan, unfortunately, and I should have. That's going to be next on the list. Um, I took off to Florida for a week. Uh, had a very nice, relaxing vacation with some of the fam. And uh, we didn't do all the Disney, but we were on Disney property. We were within the Disney bubble. We were in Disney property. Yeah. So it was it was very nice. I loved it. We had a day of rain just like that. I walked around for a while, listened to the thunder. I enjoy days like that. Like it was a very relaxing vacation. And it's cool to be with inside the Disney bubble. And then we had some special events going on. Uh, we were down there for celebrated uh, the niece's birthday as well. So we actually did Epcot one night, which was a special event, and that was very cool. And then we all got surprised and did a Magic Kingdom event as well. Mm. So it was great. I got to ride Tron. Oh, my God. I freaking loved it. I was fanboying out so hard in there. And then um, 
that was it. I mean, I didn't star um, Star Wars over there is in Hollywood Studios, so we didn't go there. But I mean, speaking of Disney and Star Wars, uh, they are redoing Star Tours and they're going to be adding some new missions, per se. So it's going to be Ahsoka, Mando, Andor. Um, I think they're leaving the reveal of Boba Fett as a surprise because he wasn't mentioned. So that's that's how I'm taking it. Like a huge surprise for Boba Fett. So we'll have to see. He's already in a mission, but I like to see the book of Boba Fett get represented. So that's awesome. You're muted. Thanks. I was saying he's traveling back from 97. Yeah. 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 The mission that they have there with Boba Fett is actually one of the coolest ones. If you ever get it. So oh, yeah. yeah, it's, it's very old school, almost kind of like star tours. Um, he's bounty hunting on you. He's following you. And uh, you actually get to go through the death star again, that trench run. And it, it's, it's one of my favorites. So that's going to be coming in April, and then uh, Disney is just a lot of fun. So yeah. I had a very relaxing time, and then we came back and uh, hit up food and uh, food and wine celebration in DCA on Saturday, and uh, I'll have upcoming news and reports and all that um, Wednesday on the Fallen Pet Chronicles. So yeah, very it's a lot nice. of fun. Yeah, any fun, any man. Star Wars or other cool pickups? Uh, no, I mean. I was living vicariously through Yoko telling her to buy it all. I'm just like, just get it. I know, right? Just, I know it's a two and a half foot bear brick, but send it to yourself or something. Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I, I, yeah. I always think like, you, you know, you pay for the ticket, you go make it work for you. Pretend it's like the shipping cost, right? Just buy it. Yeah. Get an extra suitcase, whatever it is. Bring it, bring it home with you. That's what I'm saying. I couldn't yeah. talk her into it though, but yeah, very cool. She had, Lots of cool stuff there. Um, I haven't picked up anything yet, but I have the crew out there searching. And then for those who don't know, Ernie's Ross Finds uh, Black Series and Vintage Collection is hitting again. And a, a really good case is, is dropped there. So uh, hunting those. It's Darth Maul with the legs. He He's okay. very pricey. Um, and then you have the Inquisitor. There's Obi-Wan, which was an exclusive. Uh, who else? There was um, a Jedi and um, the blue one. Oh, Ayla Secura? Is it? I think so. Yeah. That was the and one then, where I was like, oh, there's so little value in this because it's just her and a lightsaber. There's nothing I know. else in the box. And That's right. We did talk about that. Yeah. yeah when it's like $35 Canadian, it's right. so it's so hard to pay that. So here's the thing is they've been five ninety nine right at Ross. God. Well, I had another friend send me and said, Ernie, my Ross just put them at ten ninety nine. And I'm like, those bastards. They know. Are you serious? They know. But his is the only one so far. So guys, if you're looking um to catch up and finish your collection, those are out there. Oh, and um uh who who else was in there? Oh, uh the Leia Saber, the Hasbro Leia Saber, right? Thirty nine ninety nine. I got one of those. I don't have it with me though, but yeah, somebody, yeah, right. And then, um, what else is there? Vintage collection is more to fill up your barge. It's the Nick Toe, um, Yak Face. Uh, who else? Like his his goons. That wave that came out is hitting Ross, and those are three ninety nine. Oof, I need those. World Do you build, world build my world build my TVC collection? Because I'll, I'll find you a set. So yeah, you however many know. you can find, I'm down. Okay, all right. And then um, a very Thank special you. shout out goes out to a brand new member of the show and follower and of that. Well, while I was at Disney and went into the Star Wars store at Downtown Disney in one of my adventures, uh, I met a new friend, JD Cortez. What's up, man? Uh, we're missing Paul and Yoko, but hopefully, I don't know if you're here tonight or if you're going to rewatch this, but um, we just started chatting. We were at the Sabres because I went to go look at the Sabres. And, you know, sometimes the cast members don't know too much knowledge on it. So mm -hmm. I'm like, bro. And I was trying to help him out. And he's like, dude, how do you know so much? Like, <laughs> you should do a show. And, da, da, da. and I'm like, yeah. He did not say you should do, do a show. Go. Yeah, he was like, um, you you know everything. And uh, uh, you're helping me out so much. Like, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, dude, yeah, I, we, we have a podcast. And here it is. 
And so uh, I showed him the YouTube, and he was totally tripping Very out. Cool. And then I showed him Paul, and uh, we have, we we got a new member. But I haven't heard from him because I'm like I I left, and he was so contemplating on which saber he was going to get, and I want to know what saber did he get. Like he had to have walked out with one because then I was like, dude, you could take this on the plane. Like you're good to go. Mm-hmm. Like they know, you know. Yeah, they and, do. And um, I thought you might like this one because he actually works for the Washington Wizards. You know, I I don't know sports. Yes. Yeah. Cool. So I'll give you his info. You could drop him a line or whatever. I'm sure you guys could talk basketball. But uh, <laughs> that's that's what he does. I was like, oh, cool. I don't do sports. So <laughs> JD, you said it was. Yeah, JD Cortez. So All right. Um, yeah. Right. Props that, to that's you. What I was saying. If you're watching or the replay, um, thank you for being here. Uh, we have Blake Griggs watching on Facebook. Says, "How are y'all doing? We're good. How are you?" How are you this Monday up, evening? Uh, Doombots is going to have to hit up my local Ross. John Takis has the three pack of the TVC goons. Uh, I have a, I sold that set when I had it and I'm like, I'm never going to collect TVC. That's for weirdos. And look at me now. Um, played myself. Played myself. Mm-hmm. David De La Huerta, anything at Winners or Marshalls. Uh, sometimes we get toys like at Ross. Um, so, I found some. I found the Jack specific Mario figures there on uh, yesterday or the day before on Mario Day. Um, oh, is that where stuff, you were? Yeah, the stuff nice. that shows up at Ross, I've seen here at Dollarama, David. So that's the pattern that I'm seeing. So th- those Hasbro Power Rangers that were like in the VHS box that was five bucks. Those were at like yeah. all these um, months ago, and then when they showed up later, it was in Dollarama here in Canada. Uh, Winger Lou says Ernie is the unreliable narrator. I was. Uh, we'll we'll see. Filling in the the blanks with uh, in, uh with your own discretion. You know everything. He obviously hasn't watched these shows. Oh come on, come on. Damn, We're doing pretty devil. good. God. We're doing pretty good. Well, on the topic of uh, toy hunting, while I have everyone here, uh, I'm doing something. You know, for my for my birthday next month, something different. I'm putting together a toy convention of a lot of local um, toy collectors, but also. Um, you know, trying to do it legitimately. We have we have a sponsor, E Collectibles, um, who's going to be there, and uh, we're going to have some comic book creators. Obviously, we have Boba Squadron member and our good friend Paul is going to be there from eleven to four, signing autographs, taking photos. This is April seventh here in the Greater Toronto area. So if you want to get tickets, just go to toyingaround.ca. You can see the the banner right on the front here. Uh, and that keeps opening up new pages. You can become a vendor. There's still some vendor spots available. There's uh, tickets. There's $5. Kids under 10 are free. If you want to come um, find some toys, if you're local and you have stuff to sell, let me know. Um, and I'm, I'm just hoping it's going to be cool. There's going to be some giveaways. There's going to be uh, more stuff, staggered reveals over the next few weeks before uh, April 7th. So stay tuned. And hopefully if you are able to make it, come hang out. We have, Oh, see, Matt, dude, we got to talk about Matt logic real quick. Uh, but eighties babies here. What's up? John take says the toy tailgate right. thing was fun. This should be good as well. Thank you. Um, yeah, there, there's going to be giveaways and, uh, a, a lot of cool things on display. So definitely check this out. But Matt logic, uh, from your neck of the woods, Hmm. He's out here for work, and we got to hang out. Oh, that's cool. It was awesome. And uh, he helped me pick up this, <laughs> the Jada Toys Fireman. Nice. And uh, I'm, I'm such an idiot. So on a- Enablers on Thursday, I was running all around my room. I couldn't find it. I saw the top of the box like this, like this and my brain's just like, oh, that must be Mega Man that I opened a few weeks ago, and I didn't throw out the box. And then my brain says, shoot. What if I threw out the box that was Fireman by accident? But I didn't even look. I didn't even turn this over. But this all. is the Fireman. Um, thank you, Mad Logic. You sweet. Uh, 80s baby says, if you're in the local area, I just bought four passes. I'm giving away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was you, Darian. Thank you. Oh, that's crazy. He means in Canada. Cool, cool. Yeah, local, local to Canada, but Matt Logic, um, yeah, man, you're awesome. And and he told me, uh, you know, he he's chatted with you, hung out with you, and uh, yeah, on his circles. way through Back work too. Yeah, dropping off a, a toy haul. Yeah, 
Very yeah. cool. Uh, yeah, so hopefully we'll see you there. I think that's all that stuff, dude. So you sent you sent me this uh, message on Discord, and at first I'm like, what is this dude talking about? It, it makes no sense. You said what? Star Wars, Chilean beer commercial. Oh. <laughs> what are you talking I, about? I got to throw notes in there, man. Yeah, the and, and it's a good thing that you did. Thing. Yeah. Uh, so I, I looked it up, and, you know, do you want to set it up for people? What are we... Um, I know, stumbled without, without upon giving this, it all away. I stumbled upon this late at night while in Florida. Um, I was still on, on on West Coast time, right? So it was really hard. And then it was rain and everything. And I see this, and somebody is like, "You know what? What is this? Or what's going on?" And I was like, "What?" And I'm like, "No way! This is real, dude." And then they have them for every movie that they show on TV because here they don't want to interrupt it with commercials. Well, basically, it, it's like the sponsor, right? Mm -hmm. And they cut their own beer commercial scenes into the movie, which is genius, hilarious, and I love it. It's insane. So we're going to check out a few. <laughs> is this like years ago or is this current, like recent? I heard this is recent. Wow. And I, I was thinking this was years ago. Right. But I found another article that said, no, this is we're talking like I think like a year or two ago. And, and they've kept them. And I was like, dude, it's they even made it look vintage. Like I thought it was vintage. So I don't know. Okay, Matt Logic is saying 2004. That's 20 years ago. That is not. Um, that's yeah, all, that's almost vintage. Uh, all right. So, so let's see. I'm going to. Geez, we're calling 20 years vintage. All right. That's fine. Sorry, is vintage 25? I don't 20? know. I forget. Um, I still think that the 80s were like you know a couple months ago. So, yeah. So the 80s. To 2000, we're like the same time as 2000 to now. I, was, I saw a post the other day. <laughs> Are you serious? Like, yeah, I mean, you know, it's 40 years, 40 year difference, and 2000s right in the middle, right? Uh -huh. Um, all right, so I'm gonna mute this YouTube video, I'm not gonna yeah. play this setup before it because this will definitely, um, this will definitely demonetize me. But yeah, here is the scene from A New Hope. Um, Luke is at Ben Kenobi's hut. And uh, he's like, he says, I have something uh, of your yes. father's. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> and again, you're watching TV. Yes. You know what, let's just play the first one. Yeah, I want to know how many you found. Let me open this old. Uh... <laughs> Dude, someone put on yes. a loose <laughs> wizard sleeve. And apparently, in the middle of Tatooine, he's got this cooler full of ice. There's a cerveza, cerveza cristal, or is it cristal, cristal cerveza? Uh, I think it's cristal cerveza. And uh, no, so this bad wolf, this video is in English. I think they translated it and put put it back. So yes. he opens up this case. Your father's lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Luke just swinging the beer around, looking down the. Looking down the um, the bottle, but before that, let's have a drink. So, well, like, what happens though? Do they, do they? I don't know. Do, does it continue into the uh, into the scene as normal? Yes. Yeah, I, I saw a couple clips, and so they just cut it in, and here. here's the brand, and here you go. Yeah. No, I think after this one, it actually just you know how they cut that in. They show the beer, and they show it to the camera, right? Then yeah, he's handing the saber to Luke. Let's so see it just the, rolls on. Yeah. Let's see if the uh the com the jingle part will demonetize me. If not, you will all rescue me with super chats, right? Cerveza Masvina. Cerveza Cristal. Cerveza Cristal. Cerveza Cristal. It is Cerveza Cristal. Yes. Cerveza Cristal. Dude, next scene. Luke is training on uh, the Millennium Falcon, and he's busting his ass. Right? Oh, my God. I didn't see this one. What better way to finish your training? And again, they make they make Ben, my favorite character, <laughs> really be some sort of, uh, you know, degenerate. How many has Han had there? Han's had a couple there. <laughs> he's I got you, Luke. <laughs> also he caresses it a little 
I love that he pulled it out of his his robe yeah. sleeve. Where the where the just... lightsaber usually is, right? There we go. He's a... Yo, Trevor, what's up, man? One six shooter, another channel member. How you doing, Trevor? It's been a while. We should catch up, man. An elegant beer from a more That's great. Uh, Obi Shill Kenobi. Bro, you're showing other ones that I didn't see because well, I, I mean, saw the ones that for one one through six they had them. Oh, okay, That's yeah, crazy. yeah. Um, so did someone get costumes and props? <laughs> And they're like, um, what about this scene? Or is it like intervals or like it's about time for a beer commercial? I would say that, too. I think it goes by the time, right? The intervals. But if you think about it, if you just have a hand scene and that's all you got to recreate real quick, it actually could be pretty easy. It's the whole throwing it right in here. and <laughs> so that's, all right. that's all you got to do. Chat, I've got some Jedi robes. What product placements? Should I do? I can make some videos. What do you think? Let me know. Uh, I wish we had boba stickers or patches. Like you um, pull that out. <laughs> here's awful. old Ben shutting down the tractor beam on the Death Star. And um, you know, there's there's no there's no security rails, handrails. He's got to be careful. Let me just go around the other side. Oh, what is this <laughs> compartment? Beer? Cerveza Cristo. <laughs> <laughs> These are better than random YouTube ads, dude. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, man. Thank I you, didn't Winger see Lewis. that one. That was great. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, ketchup chips or Timbit says Bad Wolf. Matt Logic says a flyer for toy. Yo, yes. Make your ad. <laughs> that's so good. And I, but I don't have a jingle that's as catchy as Cerveza Cristal. <laughs> Bro, you got to put it in there right there. Join around Toy Con. Join <laughs> around Toy Con. Presented by E Collectibles. Uh, <laughs> all right, jumping around the swamps of Dagobah. And uh, you got this little, little green dude on your back. So we're in the Empire now. And man, I, I'm, I'm bushed, Master Yoda. Teach me how to use the Force. Yeah, where is the exact spot? Oh my god, no, don't tell don't me. Don't tell me it's in Oh, this uh, one's so stupid. I thought it was gonna I thought R2 was gonna be a cooler. So did I. <laughs> See, look at that tree. That's straight paper mache right there. <laughs> that is not local. <laughs> that is not local to Dagobah. <laughs> a little green on it. Right it has to be an Asian accent. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, it'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh <laughs> that's Sorry, great. I it. Yep. Oh my god. If you can do it in Mandarin and we get subtitles, even better. No, I gotta do it. It's you, but like you're going like this. Yeah. Or I, I go like this, and then you do uh survey style over it. it. Yes. <laughs> now in at the end. <laughs> all right uh Luke, this one's great <laughs> this is insane can you imagine like in this like climactic scene right your friends yeah. are on your friends are on the moon of uh the forest moon of endor and, and feel your hate reach reach for your lightsaber and strike me down right imagine watching that <laughs> What the that hell? That great because he straight used the four. <laughs> you know what this is, though? This is a reverse. This yeah, is a reverse because he, he dropped it down. Dropped so it. good. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Um, Did anyone look up, like, who's the marketing com company behind no. Cerveza Cristal that they, that they hired? Because that is absolutely... Is great. Great. absolutely brilliant i can't imagine can you yeah. like can you believe if it was 2004 or like if it came out even earlier and some sometime before the internet and you didn't know like there's nobody to chat about this with and you're like whoa guys did you know they had cerveza crystal on in in this in outer space in star wars well just imagine as a kid because for myself and paul and and some people in the chat 
it was on TV, Channel 2. So I could totally see this like happening. It used to be CBS and it'd come on and commercials and everything. But yeah, if that was in there, dude, like, I don't know, like telling you guys, right? Where's, mm -hmm. how come the emperor didn't give him a beer? What happened? <laughs> Bring me a cold one. Drink it. He walks through it. Do it. You just hear him crack open. And it's... Shotgun it. Do it. <laughs> Shotgun. Uh, Shotgun. He walks meriting Han with a cerveza crystal. Hey, on the roast. That's a good garden of Sala right there. Leaving him overnight. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, oh that my is God. absolutely wild. Absolutely wild. Um, yeah. yeah. All right. I'm just, Again, keep the letting best. me know. Keep letting me know uh, what I can do. Cut together with the movie. And uh, I'll have to take some screenshots. Screen grabs while on the washroom. And uh, do some edits. These commercials are going to be the star of the convention in Japan next year. <laughs> Come on, man. You. It's so good. Um, I don't know how we can follow that. Um, I don't think there's any other toy reveal that can actually follow that level yes, of uh, Star Wars awesomeness. But if there's one thing that can, it's this right here. Are we ready? God, for sure. sure. Ernie's Ooh. favorite baddie. Yes. Shin Hati. Look at that. I might have to get this. Wait a minute. Did you haven't pre-ordered it yet? No, I haven't. I thought I thought it no, was a instant funds. I know, right? Her with um, Boba and move over Fennec. This was revealed along with Balan Skull, which we're going to look at right after. Uh, yeah. The the portraits on this gorgeous, um, soft goods. Like remember how we talked about they look like medieval knights? Yeah, I think this really really comes through on on this figure. Detailed costume with meticulous fabric selection, separate rolling eyeballs, LED lightsaber powered by USB. Like that's awesome. Looks like they did an orangish hue. I I feel that way too. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, let's see a little her little braid here. Mm -hmm. Padawan braid. This this is more. This is honestly more like medieval armor to me than than uh, Jedi armor. It's it's freaking I awesome. I've been over it and I love it. I know, but it's still like almost still like that that Clone Wars effect, right? Like if, if she's mean? training and he had, you know, like the Clone Wars armor. Like if you look at right, it, right, right, from the shins to that, but the silver brings out, like you said, the medieval in it. It's just it's dope. I, I love it. It looks great. I, I got to see if I can get the funds together to get her. I'm not even worried about Balin. Like I just want to get her. I'm not even worried. I'm serious, like you know, because you know um, people are like, "Well, you got to get bull." No, not really. One six scale uh, figure, authentic detailed likeness of Shin Hati in Star Wars Ahsoka. Uh, one brown colored cloak, vest, silver gauntlet, shoulder pads, uh, all those things. Weapons, lightsaber, lightsaber blade in motion. Probe droid with stand, hollow projector, specially designed figure stand with Star Wars logo and character nameplate. 389 canadian dollars uh my website is set to canadian but y'all yeah. can uh y'all can check it out there's it's like payment plans here no, i'm just kidding <laughs> you better get it for 150 <laughs> i'm just kidding i think she's like two something to what is it really ryan see Yo, all Chama. the other ones that i started um Always hit me like a couple weeks later. Because <laughs> Ryan is saying that you don't have to make payments until next year. Do they do they have the like estimated release date and they work back however many months? Is it six? I don't know. Well, like Paul and everybody else, you know, kept telling me you're neither payments and mm -hmm. Chamba and, and everybody. So hi, Chamba. Like, um, and then I went with it. But everything I guess that I picked. I swear it was within a month's time I was started getting charged already. So I don't know if it's just the stuff I picked, but I never had a late one ever at all. Hmm. I thought maybe like if it came out, it says here 2025, 
right? January to June, 2025. Uh, maybe it works back six months from yeah, maybe. January or who knows, who knows, or June, 2025. Uh, still, yeah, David, they do kind of remind me of Game of Thrones, which I think that might add to the appeal. What did you say now, Ernie? When or lose says not this month. Because it's, it isn't this month um, National Women's Day or month or women's, isn't it? What did, what did you say, though? I don't know. Probably just because I'm like, yeah, baddie, shin hottie. I don't know. Something. Are you catcalling a toy, Ernie? Yeah, everybody will find something that I did when I really didn't. That's fine. Yeah, there's no better motivation than pre-ordering it and then going out to hustle and figure out how to pay for it. Right. See, I'm trying to learn my lesson now, though, and figure it out first while I can, instead of keep doing that. 280 US says Bad Wolf. Dole says oh, okay. you, make it, you make it payments and it lines to the predicted release date, but your final payment might be a couple to six months. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Well, cool, Ryan. Here. Thanks. Also announced at the same time, of course, Balin Skull. If I were to only get one of these two, I think it would be him. Just really? because, yeah, man. Just well, that was my next question. You're not getting one? I don't know if I need one or or both. Yeah. I don't, I'm not a huge hot toys collector. Um I have I have several I have I pick and choose and it's it's got to be it's got to really stand out the characters and, and the like this does, but it's not a character that I have to have and in one six and pay 400 canadian for um i, I have other things in my collection but damn I look at they the, both look good the face yeah. Gold, man yeah i like it i like it a lot um what hmm. there's more detail to look at that belt i remember we had talked about it at one time if wasn't there were like it was a kyber crystal in there we didn't know whose. I was wondering if you could see it now. Hold on. Because there's like a shot closer. Right. Right. Yeah. I, I didn't notice it has like a, a character in front of it. And I remember Damn. somebody had found out or had told us supposedly it's a kyber crystal. See, that's what I was trying to figure out there is this thing doesn't zoom well. Yeah, what it what is that? I, I can't I can't make anything out. Hmm. I'll have to look into that though. There you go. Oh, we're loose. I never noticed Balin's belt of detail before. What's up? No yeah. chewing. Um, additional photos. There's 15 additional photos. I don't know if it has so photos with none. Shinhati. None of these are like have that exclusive stuff, right? It doesn't look like it. There he is fighting Ahsoka. Oh, look at that. I, I didn't think either one did because I know sometimes they do that as well too, right? Those get this with your exclusive version or yeah yeah like a deluxe cetera, version cetera. the deluxe thank you that's that's what i was looking for yeah right i don't know if they have anything did they even do much that they had other accessories they could add to him no but i gotta admit man when they do those they throw in things that are like oh, yeah i want that yeah or like, you need you know it's the little as stupidest thing but it it does make a difference so when, that's what when I they have uh, the like the little hollow hollow projection of whatever character that uh, yeah they're talking to like on a yes. communicator or yeah. one of the clones getting talking to um palpatine something like that that stuff always is tempting um yeah let me know who's getting this in the chat dole says he's uh pre-ordered shin hati from day one yeah dole's in but are you getting are you getting balin too ryan or no um and or the chat too or who's getting both I mean, if I had the funds and the way like to make for both and the payments, heck yeah, that'd be a, a really great set. All right, so these are th Balin Skull is three ninety six ninety nine Canadian and three eighty nine for Shin Hati. Um, Why is he more? Because he's taller. Maybe. Uh, e Collectibles, who's of course a uh, sponsor for the Touring Around Toy Con. And uh, front front of the channel has both of them up on his website, so you can get it's basically the same price in Canadian. Um, nice. But of course, you can use the coupon code touring around for five percent off your order. I don't know if you if you have points from Sideshow, you can get it through there. But shipping from like 
sideshow to Canada. There's duties and stuff. You avoid that with e-collectibles because he's bringing it in. Um, I don't four interest free payments of ninety seven fifty with Sezzle. You can do it right there. Um, I think Hot Toys you pre order you put down like a hundred or hundred fifty. I'm not sure. Sweet. But I think the free shipping applies. Um, so if you're in Canada, you're looking for one of these two. Again, you can grab it there. Save five percent. Uh, that is what twenty bucks off of a Balin skull. Uh, yeah, that's you good. have that option. Yeah, I love uh, I love Ryan's answer to it. Just a hot goth girlfriend working yeah. on getting a land speeder. Oh, that'd be cool. I know, right? That's, that's what I that's said. Super cool, dude. Yes. Oh, you're gonna have to share that, Ryan, when you make it happen. Bad Wolf says I got twenty five dollar off code from Sideshow today that I'll never use. She's looking hotter and hotter. All right, man, I'll, I'll have to get a hold of you. Thirteen Ahsoka Hot Toys figures, zero and or yeah, which it's crazy. That is crazy. Really, right? Trevor? Really? Come on, we don't have you... nothing from Andor. Look at who you're talking to. It's one six. No, Shoot. I know. That's what you I'm know. saying, though. Like I, in my head, I felt like, oh yeah, there's a couple things. We don't have anything. Wow. Uh, what's up, RMD? I know RMD would want some Andor uh, Bix Colleen. Is that her name? Bix <laughs> figures. Yeah. Hot toys. Yeah, right, uh, RMZ's getting both. I'm damn. All yeah, right. that's sweet. Yeah. Uh, one wow. more, one more toy thing you wanted to mention, Ernie, while I load up some screenshots. Uh, yeah, we just saw it there. What's his name? Are you talking? You're talking about the Merrick, right? Yes. Yes. Um, we saw the Hot Toys version. Uh, out here we got word that if you were waiting to receive yours. Uh, lots of online stores uh, canceled because Hasbro has canceled all the orders and said that was it. They're they're not producing any more Merrick figures. Hmm. So if you have one, cool to you. If you are waiting, sorry, may, might want to check your email. Um, but that, uh, that that's pretty crazy. I, I don't know why. I mean, you came out right away with figures right after the show pretty hot and I, I i i think they should have at least filled the pre-orders right right like, and then after that I okay we're not, we're not producing anymore it feels like an any mini my mo type of thing to me like uh we got to stop making one of them you know and and it seems <laughs> like okay why not him it's just it's very random so i i don't get it either that's well that's the only thing i can come up with is like why? Because I was asked that too. Somebody asked me, "Oh, why did they do that?" I'm like, I honestly don't know. I, I well, mean, what if JD Cruz asked you in person and they said, "You know everything, Ernie"? <laughs> I would have been said, "Oh, well." It's definitely Eeny Meeny Money Mo. Yeah, yeah. It's called yeah. Boba Squadron. Check us out. Probably yeah. heard of it. One hundred percent facts. <laughs> and if also, you want more more good knowledge, go check out my show where uh, we show posters and then don't know if they're actually final final posters or not so yeah there's that too thanks jd <laughs> it's all in the confidence man it's yeah. all in the confidence um that's pretty shock that's pretty shocking there's nothing from andor says ryan dole not sure if sarcasm oh so that exclusive black series andor with the um what's it what's his droid oh his the name? red the red bot the pancake looking bot yeah um, emo bemo no bemo is a e bank emo it's not emo. Elmo? No, it's not Elmo. Uh, whatever, uh, whatever that exclusive is, we have it at GameStop here in Canada. They're on clearance down to forty dollars Canadian, which is really good considering one new Black Series is thirty five ninety nine. B two emo. There you go. I be was emo. I be two emo. You be emo. Dang. Forty bucks Canadian. I saw it on the weekend. Still had to pass. Uh, we have Captain Phasma, Enoch, and no Carson Tava. Listen, Trevor, Fan Expo, no, Toronto Comic Con is happening this week, uh, this weekend. Uh, they have Aang and Sokka. They have uh, appearing at the show. They have Ezra and Morgan Ellsworth. They don't have Carson Tava or Uncle Iroh, who is local 
to where the convention is happening. Really? Blows my mind. Blows my mind. Dude, like it makes no sense. He's on he's on both of those shows. Yeah. And and he's not uh, like he's not on the guest. I mean, I he said he's in he's doing a con this weekend. Um I don't know if that came about before or after, but it's just been a it's just been a a, a few consecutive shows like that now. But again, if That's you want to meet stupid. if you want to meet Carson Teva or the Great Dragon of the West at a at a Toronto toy convention. Tying around the toy con. That's for Dario. <laughs> we'll just pull, pull it out from. We'll post her out. Yeah. Oh, Dennis Lawson. That's right. <laughs> He's going to be there too. <laughs> I want to so go to that one now so bad. I'm going to boycott the other one and I'm going to make sure that I'm at toying around. There you go. But I bet just, you they'll have good food too. Just don't show up at the door doing the voice. <laughs> He's like, but the commercial say. <laughs> no, but, hey, honestly, oh, anyone who, commercial. who's free to come out, please, please do. Cat, I hope to see you there. Catch in, David De La Huerta. Uh, I did think about like doing a Butter Nation name in the title, but for everyone who doesn't know what the hell the Butter Nation is, they're gonna be like, "There's a there's a convention for butter." You know what the funniest part is, Kevin? Is you have more people show up for the ButterCon than the ToyCon. Yeah, but I don't want them to show up like... No, I know, but I'm just saying, thing. right? That's hilarious. <laughs> people showing up with like Lando Lake shirts. Just... <laughs> There's one guy with a Lando Calrissian Lando Lake shirt, and it's like, oh, oh I knew it. Oh my God, how have you not made that yet? That's true. That's true. Lando oh. Lakes, Lando Calrissian. Yeah. Can you put Lando... Where the girl is for Lando Lakes? Or we don't have that butter here. <laughs> you confused what? a deer and a girl? I think so, because I was thinking this of the month, other man. one. I was... <laughs> and there it is. It was All a right. beautiful woman. Yeah. And he was a deer. <laughs> also, I don't know why you sound like that. <laughs> I gotta see. I gotta see. All right. Um, there We got two episodes of The Bad Batch. Um. I know, I know we took a week off and maybe you've forgotten, you know, episode four, uh, but you know, we, you know, we can knock out two episodes right now and then a new episode comes out later. I forgot episode four. So dude, I, I Disney plus doesn't have a 1.5 times playback like YouTube. So I just skimmed through it. And honestly, I, I felt like I didn't miss much. I think most of this episode, the substance was at the end, but again, Thank you to Wing or Lose for these screenshots. I haven't checked them out yet. They're good job, Wing or Lose. Probably not as good as the ones that I get all the time. But again, <laughs> you have to start somewhere, Wing or Lose, so I'm not going to knock you for that. Um, but I haven't verified these myself. Uh, and so I'm just over here being appreciative, and Kevin's like, they're not as good as mine, but I'm going to use them. That's why. <laughs> still better than nothing but also not as good as <laughs> mine which is nothing um, that math equation doesn't work out uh the last we saw at the end of episode three omega and crosshair escape on the ship um yes. hemlock realizes that omega is the one that will that's the key to um operation <sighs> necromancer i almost said frankenstein but it's necromancer project necromancer um and so he you know he lets them go he needs them alive so that he can be in the emperor's uh favor and they they crash land on on this planet with uh betcha of course betcha. and uh, was there was there anything that stood out to you in this episode i know that you know the the local so, clothing that they took on was was really nice so, this episode more i was like you i i watched it a while ago so i tried to catch up today and while i had it on this is straight like a um uh, uh, uh audiobook it really played like that i didn't have to look at the screen i didn't anything by the way that they were talking everything mm -hmm. that was going on like i knew exactly what was happening right and yeah they crashed they they 
uh, want to do this. And then it, the, the cool part is Crosshair wants to kill everybody, right? Yeah. And, and she's like, we can't do that. We got to stop killing. <laughs> and what's the, um, what's the Adam to. Sandler movie? Since Yoko's not here. Uh, the water boy. And you know that his girlfriend with the signs like, want me to kill him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. no, Vicky Valancourt. No. Uh, <laughs> Vicky Valancourt. Thank you. Uh, so they, she says, let's try it my way. And she goes up and she straight asks for a bribe <laughs> from the, the ticketer, right? Are you yeah. trying to bribe me? And I you do love the way that she, that she talks. Yeah. She's, she's like, are you trying to bribe me? Well, if that's what you want to call it. Well, she says 30000 each, and yeah, they can be on their way. So, right. again, Omega has an idea, and she's like, I can hustle. So, I love that part, too. <laughs> yeah, all the all the time she spent uh, at at the bar um, hustling, hustling all those customers. What, was it Fee? I forget. It's been so long. Who? Remember she's working running the, yeah. the missions? Is that yeah. Fee? Oh, that now, Fee, is the, Fee is Wanda Sykes. The first yeah, one. Yeah, that's the, the thing. You're talking yeah. about the girl who ran the bar. Yeah, but I really love uh Crosshair's incognito look. Yeah. <laughs> the giant. Well, he can't because he's got the clone face. <laughs> that's true. He got in a car accident and that's supporting his neck. Um, but she's she's hustling people here. Is this um okay? Go for it. Very cool fact. That was a brand new game made up for yes. the episode. It was not Sabak. Not Sabak. So cool. So cool. And this guy, I'll tell you what, even though I, I was just, this is a whatever episode to me, mm -hmm. I did like the Empire dude. Because I at, love the way that he played it. At first, I was like, okay, is this the one Imperial officer who's not going to screw them? Right? Yeah, and but, no, he was. Yeah, he still has to, but I love that he's, I run it here. Mm -hmm. Right. So he was doing everything of where you say, God, what a dick. But it, it plays true Sid. to any scenario. Yeah. Sid. Thanks, I like Kat. the stormtrooper with the, the garbage can outer layer. I didn't oh. know what that was. Are you cold? Is that like, is that a stormtrooper sweater? Like, what is that? I've never seen that before. I don't know. Paul could have told no. us the material. Miss you, Paul. I was like, actually, that is. These are. Two hundred stellar screenshots. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the new game. Awesome, where he thinks he's going to come in and run it, and he has mm -hmm. her, and she pulls it out. The the three, what is it? She had like three moons or three suns or the 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 winning hand, basically. Like there is no, it's game over. Yeah, right there. I thought that was so cool. <laughs> Maddie says, did seem very cold on that planet. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, I'd never seen that before. So, right. So then, okay, here you go. Yeah, you won, but uh, you got to pay the taxes. Your your fee for what? Are you? It's illegal to gamble. I was like this jerk, dude. Very innocent and uh, naive to be like, I'm going to walk away with this money fair and square mm -hmm. after winning it illegally. Yeah. From an imperial off officer. Mm -hmm. What's three seasons? And then she gets, seasons. I think that's what she won. Oh, that's what the, the hand was? Yeah, I thought it was moons or, or suns, but uh, Winger Lou says it was three seasons, and that shut down the game. You had this kid doing the same hustle game outside and then hustles her for information, but Omega wasn't having it, and he wanted 10, and she said a five, and that's all you get because they took uh, Batcha. That's right. Took him to uh, this impound area, which was just a trap because uh, the officer knew that they'd come rescue and uh, you know, yada yada yada, very Star Wars cartoony style of making like a, making like a fun and exciting getaway off planet. It's crazy, Yo, crazy to me. It, very cool part because again, he throws it at her and says uh, that um, uh, there's no animals, so there's another fee. Give me back all my stuff, and you guys are free to go. And I put it together. I know who you are, or you can wait for the Empire to get here, mm -hmm. and basically you're busted, right? Then at that point where she says, okay, I love it because she basically gave the yes to Crosshair. You right. can do it your way now. She 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 did it all. She's pissed off at the dude, and there it was. That was great. Someone asked me on Instagram, 
do we know the exact reason why his hand is shaky, crosshair? Or is he just old and uh, deteriorating because he's advanced aging? He was tortured. Was it the torture? Like, do they explicitly say this is what happened, or we just assume based on the kind oh, okay. of uh, treatment I'm he's, I'm, he's experienced? I'm assuming. Right. I'm assuming the torture is what got him. I think that's why he keeps saying, like, you can't tell. She's like, let me t- let me call so and so for you. Let me take you to the doctor. Let me do this and that. And he's like, no, it's all right. So yeah, I don't. I I'm going with I I take it as a torture. Mm-hmm. I mean, whatever they were doing to him, he killed the dude. Of course, they're going to torture him bad. And if he's a sniper, what do you take away from him? Like, I'm surprised next probably wasn't his eyes that they were going to mess with, right? Yeah, yeah, cat. Like, I don't remember if they directly said or like it got damaged or something, but we we can, you know, kind of kind of put it together. He's been there and endured so much that he's just defective, damaged at this point. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tor Rensu, channel member, appreciate you, man. Says, came here to drop a like, still haven't watched any of the new episodes. Stay, you got to stay for at least like 30 seconds, dude. <laughs> what up, Rensu? Wait till you uh, see a Omega die. Woo! Sorry. I'm not getting this exposure. <laughs> Love you, Rensu. She, Go back in your basement. Did. Uh, I like that he got eaten by this alien, but of course, they make the getaway and, um, the reason they had to land here and find find a ship is because they couldn't do any long range communications to reach out to the rest of the bad batch. So they're able to uh, get the ship. This guy's cool. This is this, really this is so this is so Han Solo looking to me mm-hmm. because he had those goggles and everything, and you know there was the sweater again. But that was that was cool, and then it makes you think like, was that distinct for a reason? Oh my god! And there's something I got to complain about. Here I cannot go. stand his voice. Hem, hemlocks why does he always have to talk in the whisper and like again because i'm working and it just He's sounds a like a, it's menacing. it sounds like an audio book but everything when he was talking to there it says it's weird that omega's blood was bad until it took one time it's like dude just talk regular oh that's like, right you're not threatening to her and then this one what do you mean they got away got away again that's now? a little too batman Turn it, turn down the the graveliness a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Try it it's again. no, I can't. I gotta hear his. Okay. And it's it's just it's it's too much for me. I'm always yelling, talk, just talk, bro. Nobody's around you. You're not whispering to nobody. Just say just talk. Yeah. Say yeah, pinky he, again. He does say to uh, Nala say that you know. Oh, look at that. The one time that you don't run the samples. Uh, her blood comes back as a match. Isn't that weird? How did she escape with your iPad? And she's like, uh, it's just one test. That doesn't mean it's going to be perfect every time. So I think that. So part why do you guys? Enough. Why do you guys think that he threatened her like that? Do you think this is all they've been waiting for? Was what was the one to be okay, and this can further necromancer, or this makes necromancer? Because he was threatening her, like, I don't need you no more. Well, like, I mean, they, they only kept her done and they kept her around to get sorry, they got Omega so that they would so that she would stay and run this and project. Work. And that's Correct. not to say that they knew that Omega was the match. But once they knew that um she was the match, I guess he doesn't really like it, it's kind of turned now, right? Now yeah. The value is in Omega. Um, but Omega has this kind of um, attachment and loyalty to her clones that it kind of flipped the other way because she's likely to go back because Nalase is there. So now he's kind of got Nalase almost as as a, a hostage for Omega to go back. And she, and she wants to go back and rescue all the other clones too. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, well, they m- managed to make contact with um, the rest of the Bad Batch. I thought there would be a more of a buildup, like it's a trap or, or I don't know, something more exciting along the way. But I guess the whole episode was the excitement along the way. Um, they reunite with Wrecker and Hunter. This is very cool. The The soundtrack to all this point. Uh, was also good again, you know, listening from an audiobook style. 
and the soundtracks were great. You get the buildup of the reunion. It finally happened. And I get what everybody's saying, but I think we also got to remember is, is when we talked about this before, how long the time actually is Mm -hmm. the passing of everything. And I am now straight taking it as yes, it's been a long time (laughs) because I, I think he's saying like, we, we went back and forth through the galaxy like four times and then Hunter's like five. And then, you know, we, I promise we've been looking for you and you're the one who found us. Mm-hmm. I feel like it, it has been a long time. And I know we're watching it on the other end of like, oh, already they're having the reunion. Well, right. Yeah. Because, because them, this has been a while. I mean, it, it's like um, it, when she sent out the, 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 the coded message to them. And Crosshair was like, it's been months. He says that right. it's been months. Do exactly. you really think they're alive from the last time that they've actually heard something of, of them, you know? So I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm, I'm glad it already happened. And that music was cool. And then I loved how it turned dark when the reveal of Crosshair, right? Yeah, like, yeah. How did you get here? You kind of guess the whole line, but how did you escape on your own? And like, sure enough, that that's what he says. Right. And then uh, Crosshair shows up in the doorway there it is right there. How did you escape? Also, the the graphics seem a lot sharper this season, even though it's it's like dark and gritty and dirty. It feels I don't know, it just feels like uh more weathering and it's more more detailed this season. Maybe it's just been a while. That was cool. That's it. Episode four. They're back together and uh, awkwardness ensues. Yeah, they really should have faded out with the boys are back in town. But <laughs> I guess we can do that another time. <laughs> they should have faded out with the uh, Cristal. Cerveza Cristal. <laughs> but Wrecker pulls you... it out, right? <laughs> Omega, how did you escape? I had I had help from Cerveza Cristal. <laughs> they look they look in the doorway That's of the ship and it's just a giant beer. <laughs> can with legs like a mascot a coming mascot. down yeah <laughs> yeah that was that was a good one but five i enjoyed a lot more four oh, was okay go. it was good let's go five in a second just catch up with the chat real quick toys are the way is here howdy to you as well maddie says the guy being eaten the officer being eaten reminds me of the opening of Jurassic Park. Yeah, like the Velociraptor behind yeah. the cage that it's opened cool. by accident. Uh, I found that even though the episodes are standard length, they feel really short. I sit back and was like, what? It's over already. Yeah, like most of the episode was yeah, whatever was happening on the planet. And then the meat of it was what? Four minutes at the end? Five minutes? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bad Wolf, you're right. And this this sets up the rest of the season to like, all right, they're back together. We don't have to do 12 episodes of them finding her and trying to rescue her. Like, now you can get get everything in motion. I feel like Crosshair is trying to avoid a reunion. I mean, he, he pretty much is. I feel like there's a lot still to come in not a lot of episodes left, says Kat. How many episodes? This is episode five, or that was four. How many are in this season? I thought there was a lot this season. Oh, look. Omega's reunited on uh, with her her doll. What was the name again? Yoko had it last week. Yeah. Two weeks ago. And now she's in Japan Disney store. <laughs> I don't uh, need Disney stuff. I need figure art stuff. They're Damn. back chilling. Which, what figure arts are you looking for? Man, I really wanted that um, Luke and Vader. The, the yeah, the Boba Fett Luke and the Obi Wan Vader. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Chamba said I have to have those, so I need to acquire them. Do what Chamba says. You can't exactly. go wrong. Lula, right. thank you, thank you, chat. Um, all right. So Crosshair, he's back on the beach doing some par- target. I feel bad for the droid. Lula. Yes, he is Can a you? he's a great droid. Can he's he a mix of like, rock? yeah, he's a mix of like um, Johnny Five and uh, Rex, the uh, the Star Tours captain. Look at the detail here, right? Like this is a yeah. 
this is a screen grab. It's really, really clean, sharp, right? Even though he's dirty, the 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 graphics look clean. Good job, Winger Loose. I like this. What the? <laughs> His hand. And uh, everyone seems to be like imparting what their skill is onto onto uh, Omega. It seemed like this episode he was trying to teach her about sniping, you know? Make the most important part. And the most important part is... Mm -hmm. I can't do it. You know, knowing when people are watching you. So he's got Wreck Wrecker and the Hunter just watch. They're like, I don't, I don't trust this dude. Which, you know, completely fair that they don't leave leave him alone. Uh, Echo and I love returns. how Omega still cares for him. Yeah, she does, she, does. she woke up. She's like, "Where is he? Oh, he was already gone." Okay, I'll go check on him. Hmm. Like she know what well, she told him, right? You're gonna have to talk to them. Like it, it's gonna have to happen. You just can't keep avoiding it. Are, like in this situation, it. are you an Omega or are you a crosshair? I think I'm a crosshair. I, I would avoid the situation. Oh, I'm, I'm a crosshair like all the time. And situations that I've been through, I've just grown mm -hmm. to now f it. Like that's fine then, whatever. Your loss, you just lost the Hollywood fet, baby. Um, yeah. Whoa, so, what was that? Yeah. Sorry, just let my. I was on the couch for a second there. Sorry. See, Chamba uh, says. Chamba. Fifteen episodes only. That is. That does seem like a smaller order 15 episodes still have to see fennec cad bane ventress wolf figure out who the mystery guy is and wrap up omega's m count story with hemlock yeah Dang, who's the best mystery guy oh that one clone in the in the trailer or that one yeah. soldier in the trailer yeah yeah, yeah. um they, there's a whole team of them back together there's a, there's a shot what are these monkey things they show up and echoes there right and i love that part too see and i love how like we said we would both avoid it right but he still makes a comment no hug for me you know that's that's great too right <laughs> it's like no dick <laughs> uh this part was actually you know really nice because i don't know maybe it's the sunset and the the soft glow of the lighting but the, you know they mentioned they're like yeah i'm gonna have to i can hack it but it's a lot harder without um without tech here and then they like all bow their heads at the yeah, same time everybody <laughs> so sad i feel like yeah it didn't have to be so uh unanimous but i guess that's what episode. they went with yeah it, it was really good it was a nice yeah. touching scene um but they, <laughs> crosshair tells them that you know in order to use this tablet to find the location of mount tantus they need an imperial uh station so that they can they can connect to it without using encryption and uh, he says, I know a base. Wrecker still has Crosshair's uniform. Couldn't throw it away. So, like, while these guys kind of, they're cautious about him, they're weary of his intentions and, you know, everything that happened, they still have, like, a spot, soft spot for him. Um, they just don't show it like Omega does. And, yeah, they, they don't want to talk about this either. But they go uh, back to... The base where we saw Crosshair kill um, an Imperial officer uh, after he refused. That guy was a jerk, too. After he refused to help one of the, the clones that Crosshair rescued. And um, they turn off the sensors, go into the base. And it's supposed, it, was supposed to be a perimeter def um, sensor, but it seemed like it was keeping something at bay. Also, this bird shows up again. Yeah, he was he was in the other episode too with him. I think it's yeah. significant to to Crosshair, right? Everything happened at that time. And then again, as we talk about the shaking, I know somebody did mention some type of PTSD, and it has to be for him. This is mm. where it all went down for him. Right. But he realized what he has to do for his brothers and for the family, for the team, right? And and you're going back to it. And of course, they don't trust him, so they have all these questions. And he's like, "Just trust me, you know. There's nobody there. I guess it served its purpose. Just everything. It's, it's really got to suck. He did bad. Yes, absolutely, he did bad. He was wrong. Mm -hmm. I don't know. W would you have forgiven him? You know, chat. Would you have forgiven Crosshair at this point, or do you think it's all justifiable? 
but it, it was, you know, it, it, I'm sure it's a lot on him too to bring them back here. It is. Mm-hmm. You you can see it here. And then yes, to get to the door right here, God, that batcher scene was awesome. Where he dug <laughs> he dug for him. And they're like, right. Oh, hey, that's cool. Yeah. Get your butt. Uh, get and, your butt. And, I, and I think the part when they, they want to have that that tough conversation, it's like, what did you do? What did you do, Crosshair, that you know made that you turned on the Empire? And he's like, No, they they turned on me. Right. Yeah. And and that yeah. that whole emotional thing. And, you know, he he knows he he made a different made, made a different choice. Like he thought he was helping the Empire, but you know, he was still he was still a good soldier following orders. Uh but once they turned off the perimeter sensors, it was apparently just keeping oh well, a, a creature at bay. I forgot about these helmets. The helmets of those clones that were stationed mm-hmm. out here that died. Uh, yeah, this, this is a See, emotional PTSD. episode. Yes, yeah, right. It was, it was great because of that. He picks them up and places them up again. The respect of it, right? Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm saying. You're getting, you're getting so much flack from your brothers, which is okay. They have a right to, but you also have to put up with this. So, yeah, it seems like they're down to give him a another chance. Yeah, this shot right here with with the um, almost like a memorial of these. Huh? Yeah. So they're hacking the tablet again. I watched this a while ago. All right. Next time, I'll know to uh, download all of these. Uh, Crosshair and hey, Hunter. You know what? Go, again, though, when you're losing, great yeah. job. Great job. Yeah. Hell these yeah. slides are, are keeping us right up to date. And, uh, you know, they pair them together, forcing, kind of trying to force them into the awkward conversation. So that bird, cat called it an ice vulture, it's mm-hmm. just a blinged out, I don't know what it is. It's it's so cool. Vulture. It's a really cool looking creature. It's a vulture. I like it. There it what is. Has to do with them? Look at him. It actually looks like that one Muppet. What's his name? Um, the tall one. See his head? Is it Sam Eagle? No, not Sam Eagle. Uh, the blue one. Oh, I'll find it. Somebody has to know exactly what I'm talking about. It looks like that Muppet. Big Bird? Later, John, take us. <laughs> not Big Bird. Later, Big John. <clears throat> yeah, so they have it out. This is there pretty is. much the spot where, where it all went down for him, right? Sam- right yes. in front of the base. Um, this is probably more screenshot than I would have gone with, Wing or Lose, quantity-wise. <laughs> I'm kidding, but this is the creature that that uh, you know gets. Now that now that the perimeter sensors are off, he's able to break through. This thing is gnarly. Yeah, sandworm, so hot right now. So yeah. the ship gets kind of sunken into the snow. Uh, I think my favorite thing is when Wrecker was like, "Why is there always big monsters?" Uh, you know, because like if you're watching, when you're watching it, it's like. Yeah, this is the monster of the week. This is the mission of the week. So yeah. like, for him to call it out and, and and kind of be aware of that, that was funny. Um, is it a worm? Is this a special? Is this a worm that you've seen on other planets, Cat? I don't think I've seen snow ones. Uh, but yeah, through a series of you know, ice worm, <laughs> ice worm better get a popcorn bucket. <laughs> 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 Did we get one? Did have you seen Dune? I have not seen Dune two yet. No. Have you seen one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I do have the bucket already. You have the. Bu- it's by my nightstand. Okay, so Ooh. Badger's here, and then. <laughs> no, I haven't seen Dune two yet. So he fell through a hole. This was funny, right? This was cool. They're gonna track him from up top. Mm-hmm. And and Batcher knows where he is, but they're also following his little signal. Yeah, that so cool. uh, Hunter falls through, and he really has to to trust Crosshair to get him out of the ice, uh, which ultimately happens. They drop. Now he was down in the tunnel. The worm was down in the tunnels with him at the same time. Mm-hmm. So of course they make it over just in time as they reactivate uh, the perimeter, and um, monster goes away i guess it was playing it was playing like a high-pitched sound 
that I, yeah, uh, Thatcher was I mean, already annoyed with. Something, right? But that's a big old worm to stop with the sound. Whoo, we just made it. Good thing that sound's on. Do we? What ship is this? I, I don't even remember what they I did. don't know because it, it's, um, I mean, you got it right there, right? You got it. Okay, go back to it real quick. You got it looks like an so if you cover it, it looks like an X-wing in the back. Yeah, it looks like the if, uh, it, the foils like are the side of the Falcon. Yeah, and then you go to the, and then you go to the front, and it has a middle, so it's a freighter ship. But it, yeah, I don't know. It's a weird one. It, it's cool. It looks it's oh it's Echo ship. That's right. He nice. showed up and uh, gave him uh, gave him a lift, hitching a ride. Uh, hey, Karen, how's it going? Hi, they allude to the sound when they arrive, and Bat Batcher re reacts to it. Yeah, because mm -hmm. he he starts growling and and doing all this stuff. So that's and maybe he's on the inside, that. so it doesn't affect him as much. Mm -hmm. and it's just annoying. It's it is more capable of keeping the big worm out. Uh, but at the base, there they don't get the exact coordinates to Mount Tantus, but I think they find no. find, find more information that. You know, it's that hidden to lead them. So it's a quest yeah. to found Mount Tentus. And that was cool too. The whole trying to um power up the place, right? That wrecker had to do to, mm -hmm. to get the power on. You always gotta do that pump. So many movies it's happened before. And then uh you know, we have it out and they're there, and they basically um they basically have I don't know at this point, right? Uh, made up with him because his crosshair gave told him you know what happened and mm -hmm. and uh it was kind of like a oh you know but I'm, I'm sure it's still there but we'll have to see yeah we'll see episode comes out in uh, a day or so um and then and then hopefully we're back at full power next week for boba squadron Chat, anything yes. else you want to bring up from the episode tonight or uh, last last two weeks? Or any, what about you? About these episodes? That we didn't miss. Like I said, four was okay. The end was was cool. Five, I really enjoyed all the five. I like Batcher. I saw Winger lose comment. We need a Batcher figure. But that would have been a great point. That would have been a great tie-in to actually get a Build-A-Figure in the Black Series at that time when they gave us all their new costumes. Like, you don't know who this is yet. Like, you, you didn't have to label him Batcher. But you mm -hmm. could have gave us a build a figure. That would have been perfect. I think that would have been a good tease to it, right? Dude, of all the all the creatures that could have been a build a figure in uh, Black Series, I don't think they're gonna start start now with Batcher like this many waves after like in. It'd be crazy. No, because they they already gave us them the, these new suits yeah. that they're obviously yeah, gonna sure. finish it. Is what I'm saying. Like they should have. Okay. We wouldn't have known because we would have had it by now. Wait, you think like they would base dog? Because yeah. they're almost like a repaint, they should incentivize us rebuying them by putting in a build a figure. Yes, exactly. You, I didn't buy him. Did you buy him? I didn't. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. I did it. But if I saw that space dog that almost looks like a uh, Ghostbusters dog, then yeah, I might have, might have went for it. You know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, Winger lose does crosshair still have a chip in his head if so shouldn't they take it out none of them i thought he said that it was removed and those were his decisions right wasn't there that episode where it's like well you don't know it, it's a chip mm. and he didn't he say no i i don't this is me this is what we yeah, should be doing right, you guys right, are wrong right. right didn't that happen already i believe Dude, so. season one was so long so two years ago so I think that was it because it was kind of like a shock of, oh, because where we are thinking that, right? Oh, mm -hmm. stupid chip, a stupid chip. So I, I thought it was... Cats say no, there wasn't confirmation. I thought there was. Dude, I, I got to brush up on this stuff because uh, there, there's so many little details. And for me, like a lot of the times, I think only the main... like the the OT and the prequels and then like some Clone Wars are worth rewatching. A, a lot of this stuff I, I don't um, 
it's not something that I would go, oh, I'm going to go throw on an episode of Bad Batch because I, I'm working on something. Like it, that, that's rarely the case. Correct. So I don't, I don't remember a lot of. Uh, I, I haven't rewatched. Before. I haven't rewatched Bad Batch either. There you but go. But I'll tell oh. you what. Well, we were at Disney World, <laughs> like because I don't have like regular yeah, cable. No, I did not get. You. I probably did. I might have and not even yeah. know. What what's right. what's the pass? The Disney yeah. and you put it on your wrist. Uh, the Magic Band. Yeah, there you go. Same I, thing, dude. If they were to say, you know what, we, we're gonna chip you, no more Magic Band. You know, I'd be first in line. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Chip me up. And so, uh, uh, on TV, the TNT. I don't know why, but it seems like every time we're on vacation, TNT has like all the Star Wars movies on. I don't know <laughs> if that's a a weekend thing all the time, but it seems to always happen. So everything was on. They had. It's so funny too. I don't know if it's like a clause where they can't um, show them in order, but it, it did. Uh, so like Friday was seven, eight, nine, and then Saturday was four, five, six, and mm -hmm. then Sunday was like one, two, three. It's like they went backwards or something, or maybe it was even other than that. Maybe it was like seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, and then four, five, six. I don't, I don't know. It was really weird. Don't they play it over and over or? Like all day? Know. No. If it was those, so it was those three movies all day over and over. Then the next oh, day, okay. it was right over and over again. You you, get, missed... you would show it up at a different time. So, is TNT yeah. the same as Superstation back in the day? And that's a different thing, isn't it? No, that's TBS, isn't it? TBS Superstation. TNT was Turner Turner Broadcasting. Right. Yeah, I think it was TBS. TBS is oh. the different one. I think that was Superstation. I think I haven't had cable in a while. Yeah, me neither. I don't even know what it is. Uh, hey, what's up, Carl? Carl says, uh, Boba Squadron, what's up? Long ass time since I joined the podcast. Finally got through a crazy month and caught up on Bad Batch. Hello. Hey, man. Cool. Well, I, I would say good to see you, but I saw you last week, so it's good to see you in person then. But thank you for tuning in now. It's a good thing you had a chance to catch up. Um, thank you for being here. Doombot says, I throw on four, five, and six when I want something on in the background. Mm hmm. I mean, yeah, I think I, I start with a new hope um, and, and just play and see how much time I have to work. Uh, sometimes I just replay the, the battle with Obi-Wan and Anakin on Mustafar. I recently heard someone call it the Battle of Heroes. Is that like a DVD thing, you know, like chapter titles? It, I don't remember. I don't even know where my DVDs are. It might. That know. sounds like it. Yeah, I didn't know that. Might have been. Every fight yeah, had, were you, a, had a name. Where you cut to specific scenes, right? And it's like 37, yeah. Battle of Heroes. Yeah. Right. Something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Chapter titles. I don't know. First I just I saw it. one, and I think I think it was a stupid lie. I hate how nothing you know. Is it true or is it a lie? Well. Like, there's, there's one. Well, there's this one Disney page that is nothing but lies. And everybody always sends it to me. And if you sent me something, I'm sorry. I appreciate it. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about other people. <laughs> but because <they always laughs> everybody sends me like Ernie, can you believe this? And I know exactly what they're talking about. And there's one page dedicated to just telling lies, like they just make up stories. And I'm like, mm, no, I, I don't think that's true. And all I had to do is see the title, and I'm like, yeah, that's that's that page. So hmm. I got bamboozled because one had said <laughs> after all this, all this time. There's a somebody in the background of the Mustafar fight. Like of there's Anakin. a face or something. Of Anakin right when he flips? Oh, it is? You saw it? I saw a guy play the video. I couldn't find it. Mine wasn't labeled Anakin. Mine said mysterious person in the background after all this time. So what do I do? I run and turn on Disney Plus. Oh, okay, 131 to and I kept watching it and watching it, and I didn't see nothing. What did yeah. you see? Some guy was watching it on his couch and he couldn't pause it in time. So he watched it a second time and he paused it. And like, there's, I don't know, somebody on set, the graphics didn't cover it for like a split second frame. And people in the comments of this IG video were like, they didn't take it down. It's still there on, on, in the movie. So I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't, I've never Google it. I, I play that scene over a lot. Uh, to the point where my daughter runs around the house now and she'll just yell, democracy! <laughs> I don't think she knows the rest of it and where her allegiances lie, but 
It's democracy. You are the chosen one. Does she ever told her brother that yet? <laughs> it's like, I don't want to go shower first. You were the chosen one. <laughs> you were the chosen one. You were like, my what? brother. She's like, can you help me clean up this mess? You have done that yourself. Uh, Ryan Dole says, I think I know the site. Yeah, what do, what do you guys throw? What movie do you guys throw up? Got, uh, RMD says, lately I've got Revenge of the Sith and Rogue One on the background. Those are easy. One frame See? is hard. There you go. I used to do the same thing with 4, 5, and 6, but now I throw in Solo and Rogue One in there too. Oh, Solo. Uh-huh. Deserving Solo. of a rewatch? Yes. Oh my God, yes. I've watched it twice. Okay, but you need to do it again. Solo is a great movie. I'm sorry, it is. I, I don't understand. I wish we would have had more. I wish there would be Disney Plus, the, the Lando Calrissian Chronicles. I wish that that we had another one. You know, the whole ending with Kira and Maul. I wish we would get the story to that. Yeah, that they definitely... I, I hate how it all turned out. And I'm sorry, I, I blame that on the fandom. I do. And that really sucks because I enjoy the crap out of Solo. Um, and then Rogue One and then 4, 5, and 6. That's how I throw things on now all the time. Cat hasn't watched Solo. Are you choosing not to? Like, why not? Why not? I'm curious. Sorry. Let me. Why let are me you it. protesting? Let me tone it down. Why haven't you watched it yet, Cat? I am mm. curious. In the meantime, this Reddit post. So this is a screen grab, and then if you go, you see this guy right here? Oh, oh my God. Is that El Sinestro? It looks like Kanan. It looks like Kanan. I don't know it if somebody was like on Kanan. set, like, crouching behind as they're fighting and watching, and they were supposed to CGI Wait, over yeah, everything. No, is this but his flip? flip? So is this dude like this? He's, he's right about... <laughs> he's... he's He's in a green suit, but no mask, and he's lifting up Hayden. That's what I'm saying, right? Go Hayden now. <laughs> he's, he's for the flip. They do a lot of the Crimson. Sorry, just to go back to this. They do a lot of the Crimson Dawn stuff with the uh, in the comics, but I don't remember if they brought yes. they brought, bring Maul into it. That was like that was a good. Well, he's the leader part. of the of the Crimson Dawn. Yeah, but th at this point, like, I don't know. Kira the comics talked doing... about Kira doing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. It's so, Mephisto. I like it. No, see, Doombot, it does look Photoshop, but I saw a guy play the video on yeah. IG and he paused it on this on this spot. And it's the exact same dude that was there. So I, I don't know. If how... your computer can do frame to frame, I bet you'd find it. Yeah. See, I, I was trying to pause during Disney Plus. We're gonna lose it on the toilet right now on Disney Plus getting that screenshot for all of you. <laughs> go follow when you lose. There you go. Yes. There's a lot of people who I, I've known of a lot of people. Hell yeah. Well, frame by frame, his earring switches. I don't like the movie now. <laughs> yeah. Swear Who's to God. this? Just, there's people who the frame by frame to see. And, you know, when, when seeing the earring was on the, the right ear, then in the middle of the frame, it switches to the left and it goes back to the right ear. I hate it. Got to have those continuity so, photos. That's why. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. I, I thought it was fake because, like I said, I ran to my Disney Plus and turned it on. It was like, where's this dude at? And I couldn't I couldn't find nothing. And then by the fifth time trying, then you have to let the whole speech play out. <laughs> oh, man. I hate you. Well, yeah, that, that's one of my, my favorite scenes. Um, all right. I think that's it for, you know, episodes four and five. We covered some cool new toy news. Um, <laughs> dude is Master Sifo Diaz. That guy's everywhere. Sifo Diaz. Um, what else? I think that's it, right? Toy news. We did the beer commercial, which was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> and, and thank you, chat. Again, if you're watching the replay, you have some ideas for me on how to do some uh, Cerveza Crystal style ads. For Star Wars and what product placement I should do, let me know. Um, and, and hopefully I have some time. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, Ernie. It's great. 
thank you for being able to come back tonight and uh you know, yeah man vacation we, and uh, we got we had a lot to talk about um yoko will not be streaming on tuesday i believe she is traveling back and she had mentioned earlier of course um if you missed it earlier yoko dropped in briefly from japan um so she mentioned you guys are back on japan, wednesday japan. japan japan yeah yeah wednesday fallen fed chronicles 6 p.m my youtube channel it's gonna be a good show we weren't <laughs> there so dario held it down and then it was dario and chamba and chamba, had a really yes. good show yeah it was awesome. Yes, we put together a video. I apologize. I'll get you your video. You know those things. You can't tell me once, bro, because it's Yoko texting me. Did you do the That's video? True. Did you do the video? She's much scarier than me. Oh yeah, yeah. Kevin says, "Can you please do a video for me?" Yeah, dude. As soon as I get time. Oh, why do I get that voice? I don't, I don't know. Because you do. Because you say it's scary here. And then my my comment is, "Did Paul do it yet?" Yes. All right, I'll send mine right now. And then I'll my, but Yoko is like, Doo -doo. what? What happened? What, what is Yoko? Did you do Kevin's video? <gasps> oh crap! And then again, do Kevin's video. Oh All shoot! Right. I'm gonna message I'm her sorry. to get. Yes. See, to whip you into in line. Yes. Um, I'm or tell Corinne because she was here earlier. I don't know if she I'm still sorry. is. Uh, but yeah, See, we'll, I, we'll get that together. I try that too, though. But me and Corinne have the same mind, so it does not work. We try and tell each other all the time, babe, remind me, blah, 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 blah. And we sit there the next day, go, oh, crap. <laughs> Both of us, babe, I have to shoot this video today. I have to do this review and I have to do this. Okay. Make sure I do. Four movies later. Oh, was I supposed to do something today? I think so. Oh, well, let's try it tomorrow. Yeah. We, we, we can't. Can't at all. Insane insane well good luck with uh with that if you if both of you are in the same uh we're, we're never gonna i'm never gonna get that video from you am i you are you will i promise you will you, right. again send me the message of what you want and yes you will you will get the video absolutely all right so everyone hopefully you don't need more than one reminder but check out uh yoko and the fallen fet on the fallen fet chronicles uh your instagram should be linked here in the youtube video description um, that's Wednesday night. Uh, Ryan Dole is in the chat. He's going to be streaming Toy Anxiety. He's going to be, uh, yeah, Tuesdays, regular time. Maybe uh, you guys should go check it out tomorrow. 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 And let's see. I want to thank all What'd the... Oh, this Thursday, I am going to see the legend Jerry Seinfeld in Niagara Falls. So DK... We'll be holding it down for unboxing Thursdays. We'll be back. Nice. Another special video uh, with somebody from another toy company uh, interview that I'm going to edit tomorrow and put out. And of course, uh, if you are not yet supporting or uh, signed up on Patreon over there next month, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and giveaway for the, the hell is this thing called Mezco snake eyes. Uh, You're giving away with, a snake eyes giving away a snake eyes and a timber so it's a new it's a new idea i have it's called the toying around purge stream the patreon unboxing review and giveaway extravaganza so uh, we're gonna look at this thing real quick and if you're when i do the stream if you're supporting on patreon i have your names uh on a list on a wheel i'll spin a wheel and um and one lucky person will win this if you're uh if you're on a paid tier on patreon so go check that out patreon.com slash toying around for the low low price of an ollie's action figure five dollars a month uh you can get early access to videos ad free support the content and um and have fun we do some watch alongs through discord uh every other sunday right now we're doing x-men the animated series and of course that's coming out march 20th so we've been having fun we did that on sunday um and you know just if we can get more and more people on patreon uh it allows me to do more stuff giveaways like this uh, upgrades to the channel you guys have seen you know the audio sounds better now got a new microphone updated um so again it's all going back to higher quality 
content that I can make for everybody. So uh, thank you for all the channel members here on YouTube. Wait, is that DK? Yeah. Oh, there you go. What's up, DK? That's what you were doing. I don't need to. I don't need to tell you where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm using a sick day, that's my own PT time. I can go wherever I want. I didn't tell anybody where I went on my vacation either. They found out when I was there. Dude, it's it's Seinfeld, man. Come on, that's uh, that's one of my. I've been watching that forever. <laughs> this is Wait, the only is that, way. Is that what he meant, or did he just find out that he's doing a show by himself? No, no, no. He he oh. knows he's doing a show. He didn't know what the reason was. Um, and Kevin, does Kevin really not know snake eyes is not plural? Is he that young? I am that young. Come check out my birthday celebration this April. Uh, yeah, thank you to all the channel members here on YouTube. And of course, everyone over on Patreon. Don't forget the toying around. I know this is running long. Toying around. ToyCon is April 7th. You can get your tickets now uh, on toyingaround.ca. You can be a vendor. There's still some tables available. And of course, Boba Squadron and actor, Boba Squadron member and actor Paul Sun Young Lee will be signing autographs all day and uh, buy toys, win prizes, come hang out. And uh, I need a represent see... hat. Yeah, you need, he, isn't, he didn't get you one? Oh, you got a bitter. Bitterman. I have a bitter one. I need to represent one, though. You got a Bitterman hat. Um, hey, Ernie, thank you for, yes, sir. for coming out tonight. And, of course, everyone watching, we will see you all around the Internet. Absolutely. Have a great night and keep toying around. Peace. Bye, Yoko. What's the music again? Cerveza. Oh, no. Cristal. <laughs> I lost it. What was it? Teresa Cristal. Or is it? Teresa Cristal. Try different ones. One more. El Super. ¿Dónde está Teresa Cristal? <laughs>